Uh, this is very, very important issue. I have not really recorded it, and since I don't know much about any of this stuff, this is very, very important evidence for me to video record. Um, we're going to open this stuff here. Shit. All right. Uh, and I did disable this stuff here so that you can hear me, actually. The thing is that every time I reset the laptop, even if I turn this thing off, it comes back. And it really shouldn't. Should it? Uh, what's happening if I turn this thing off? But if I turn this thing off, I will not have a capacity to audio record or do anything, basically. Let's see how that looks like. I, I don't think I have uh, uh, properly uh, acknowledge this stuff and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna acknowledge one more time this is hacked it computer your laptop is hacked but it's little, this little differences that makes that make um, it could it could maybe even I don't know depict me as if something is wrong with me when in reality this shit is hacked check this out for instance hello we gonna Audio record this stuff now. We are going to play. This is a test test. We're going to stop this. Um, we're going to call this like a test test, whatever. Just test. All right, that's okay. That works for me. And um, we're going to try to find this and play this to see if the issue will be problematic either with a speaker or with a microphone. It's Hello. not. It's we working fine. Audio record this stuff now. We are going to play. This. So basically what that tells me, what that tells me, we're going to take this off. What that tells me further is that this should be turned off. Uh, why? How? I do not know. But it should be turned off. This is the stuff they have spoken about in MK Ultra, not the stuff I'm talking about now, but about your computer being hacked and this and that. And I have no doubts that computer is hacked, except that I don't know if I would even consider this as a form of uh, some kind of, as they wanted to blend into it, like assistance, this kind of technical shit that they interpreted me in all forms in all ways which rather contributed to the heavy, heavy, heavy mental problems. Really, unnecessary wasted time sitting, recording all this shit and not knowing what the hell do you record based on the brainwash which took place during MKUltra in a very same fashion as to what was done to me in respect to liver, kidney problems, anemia, liver anemia problem uh, by describing me 1,000 medical problems involving totally different issues, including directed energy weapons, gas poisoning, um, poisoning, and all kinds of stuff like this. So this is exactly about the same kind of stuff. They use, according to the same things everywhere, in everything they were doing, they were doing the same thing. Now, when you restart the computer, this stuff here should not come up back again and give me a trouble. So this is going to be the fourth video. As I published everything, but I came to realize that, well, maybe this here, when you restart and it starts itself on its own, is what makes the difference between proving that it's hacked and maybe not so much proving that it's hacked. So. You know what, let's go and we're going to restart this computer to see if it's going to come back because I did disable that you were able to see and now I want to go and I want to start this machine and see if it's going to turn itself on. We're going to do it one more time afterwards. I want to see what's going to happen. It did earlier so I very much anticipate it's going to do it again. It's turned off. Let's turn it on. 
very briefly we're going to know, we're going to see what exactly is going on with this stuff. Quickly we will know what's going on. Compared to Windows 7, Windows 11 took me even minute and 15 seconds, minute and a half sometimes. So as you see, it did turn itself on. So that means now I can say that laptop undoubtedly is hacked. Right? So, no, no. Let's go back here and we're going to repeat this procedure for one more time. It's going to be this. First, we're going to open this so that you can see that this stuff, in fact, was enabled again. So what I'm going to do at this point, we're going to take this off. The first thing, we're going to take this thing off as it should be. And we're going to restart the laptop. We're going to start. We're going to restart the laptop. And I want you to see the cursor of mine one more time. Do you see this here? And you do see this here. Boom. Yeah, that's how we're going to prove this stuff. This is probably more valid video than any other because it proves that there is a certain setting they have done something to the windows that turned itself back and repeats this stuff. Which, of course, I'm sure you can find on the online. Uh, there have been people reported this kind of stuff before. But why the fuck do uh, my computer always everything is wrong with my computer? Well, for one thing, as I was told, so that you can look for the solution and find more people that were involved in MKUltra and identify them, because we will display the videos of the people who were involved in MKUltra, but that's exactly what that is. That, that, that's a tenting of the video, a tenting of criminal proofs in respect to genocide, with adding more criminal proofs about crime, uh, even abusing, <laughs> listen, for the people to be involved in this stuff, people had to torture. Let's never forget this stuff. Just right now, so that you see this stuff is indifferent from before, we're going to stop this. Okay, time to point you out. Okay. Just a little earlier, I pointed out what makes one responsible and what makes one look responsible. Uh, in respect to Prince William, his brother, his father, his uncle. You see, the thing is that adding crime to a genocide doesn't excuse you from your being involved in it and your primary goals when you waste, waste 48 years of your life to an individual, 48, 48 years. This is not the same case as, as it would be that would apply to everyone, anybody. Just this, isn't, this is a very, very specific case. Especially when you consider that people involved whom you want me to go and look for now on the internet so that you can excuse, I don't know, Sergey Breen uh, or Larry Page, you know, so a uh, Google YouTube owners and so on. Um, let's not forget what you did, what your form of assistance was. It was based on a torture. Don't forget this stuff. When you will be rationalizing these things next to 4, 8, 48 years destroyed, deleted, next to the ruined health you cause, you destroyed my health with idea to create short life expectancy in as evil as possible circumstances. Let's not forget, this is not a form of help. This is something else. There is a difference between the health expert and between causing health. To someone and doing everything possible to destroy someone 
against whom your personal family was involved in torture since his age seven, eight. Some adversary that you created through the torture, through abuse, through the lies. Destroy his life expectancy, so the torture, lies and stuff. That's been used to depict me to the world as an angry person, as somebody not capable, not rational, not, you know, willing to deal with the people just in a worse light possible. And so it would also last your adversary, this evil person, as little as possible. And when I, in fact, never wanted to have anything to do with you, with any problems. I was the least demanding person in this world. All I wanted to have, basically, is my life, which was too much for you. Because oh, your, your entire economy was based on what I stated. You know? That's all. This stuff is proven that it is hacked. And this was the video that was actually missing as a final dot to this stuff. No, it's not supposed to be this. If you all, next to all the problems that was done to me, this, this, is, this stuff actually cannot even be interpreted in any ways as any kind of form of assistance. Because it's a clusterfuck next to health issues and everything else that would rather make one fall to its knees, basically his mind, brain give up on it.